So we didn't even know if we would have the opportunity to go visit this community. They had to perform a ritual where they prayed to their gods. And luckily, the gods said that the three of us have good energy. Three flights later, we end up in Mindanao. And we have a three to four hour car ride. Stay the night, wake up the next day, have another hour ride, then an hour hike through the jungle. Uh, ako si Bae Inatlawan, kadili na Dosinus Tarino. Usa ka ritually sa mga kitanglad. Ako usa nga tigdumala, tingog sa tribo. O nahimong maoy gadala sa yutang kabilin. Uh, ang among mga pangandoy, dili lang ako. Pangandoy sa Council of Elders sa Garaguya. The process of weeding itself is crazy. I mean, the weeds, especially depending on the weather, break. Like, each little fiber has to get tied again or they have to start over. Ako si Sanami Tarino, taga Garaguya, sa ka-tribal Ako ang nag nag naghabi sa abaca fiber ay mo siyang It was awesome to see Salome sitting at the loom and seeing her weave and then holding our textiles and, you know, actual physical connection. It was just a huge social thing to see a lot of young Filipinos really don't embrace their Filipino identity and culture. Unta ang among mga kababayan adunay proyekto nga magkahatag kanila o dugang kalambuan. Unsa ang pagdumala nga adunay ganansya para dili lang firme basok tanom, harvest makakaon, basok na pod. Mag-harvest, mag-account, wa na ilain, ana, uwi, kaayo. Ba'e performed a ritual where they blessed us and they made an offering to their gods. And it was essentially a symbol of us coming together and us respecting their ancestral domain and their land. coming to to visit Bukidnon and seeing it for themselves means so much to us. It strengthens our shared values, but more than anything, it also largely inspires the community to do more and be more. Importante kayo namo kay ang daraguyan kung dili namo palikunan. Lisod man kay mga wala man unya ang among kaliwatan mangita o asa manginabuhi. that we are connected by the power of our weaves, by the power of our fabric. That's what interlaces us together. Do you know who made your product? Do you know what they're made out of? Do you know the stories behind the people who designed them and who make them and where they originated from? It's like all of those questions are things that I feel like I now ask myself all the time because we did get to meet those communities 